peeps, my name is Christina Aguilera and guess what, I'm feeling like a genie, not in a bottle, in a lamp. Feel like I've been locked up tight for a century of a lonely night. I made the lamp from Aladdin, the magical lamp that releases the blue genie named Robin Williams. Or his new name, Will Smith. A lot of my cakes, I label them as triumphs. Some of them, I say that they're epic or glorious. This cake, you guys, I'm gonna call this cake a disaster because I didn't have fun making it and I was just over it halfway through. But it's gonna be fun to watch, so let's get started. And make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out and it lets me know what kind of content you like. Now the reason this cake was a disaster was because it fell apart twice. Twice before. And I'm probably not gonna show you all of the falling because it made me really sad. <laughs> After it fell apart the second time, I just sat like this for like ever. And I was like, should I continue or should I just give up? Let's continue. Let's keep going. To create this cake was actually really hard because I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> Especially with this shape. I'm not sure if this was meant to be a cake, but maybe it would work if it was a much larger cake. But I don't got that space in my refrigerator. I'm using my PVC pipe stand and I'm realizing that a lot of this isn't even going to be cake because there's no way to structurally hold up this much cake without some sort of a system and that system required Rice Krispies treats. Oh you can see the barcode and everything on that pipe. I'm using my pipe stand, pipe couplers, and a pipe connector to create the handle and the spout. Two egg cakes create the body of this cake as well as a half dome cake to create the bottom. And I'm just going to carve this to look as much like this lamp as possible. I bought this at the Disney store for $20. I think it's overpriced. It's not even big enough to be a real lamp. Why would I want a little itty bitty lamp? I don't know. But I needed it as a reference so I bought it for $20. And I didn't keep the receipt so I can't return it. Also, go figure. Carving this cake was really easy the third time around because it didn't collapse on me. And also the Rice Krispies treats made it so much more stable that I could actually go back and carve it properly. When I finished crumb coating my cake, I placed it into the fridge and I watched the original Aladdin. Again, again. I'm cautiously excited about this movie. It's hard because Aladdin is one of my favorite movies. I love all the music and every time, every time we go to karaoke, you guys, we sing a whole new world. It's me and then somebody else. I don't, it doesn't even matter because that song is all about me. You can pretend that the Jasmine part is something, but no. So I am gonna watch it and I'm excited, cautiously excited. This was my childhood. Do my childhood proud, Disney. Now the dowels at the ends of the cake actually are just placeholders so I know where the spout's gonna be and where the handle is. And the thing that I really didn't like about this cake was that most of it is made of Rice Krispies sweets and it had to be like that because there's no way cake would hold. There's no way. Oh, and look at that cake ball dough. Unfatty cake ball dough looks like garbage. That's why it was a disaster. So I carved this shape as much as possible. Does it look exact? Nope, but that's okay. I've made my peace with that. I decided that I was gonna cover this three ways. The right side, the left side, and the top. And the reason I decided to do that was because I could make sure that the seam was hidden by this design, you see? Look at that. I've never done this before, but to protect the top, I actually added some saran wrap so the place where I'm gonna cut the extra fondant from the sides wouldn't stick to the top of the cake. Which meant that I could reuse it because there's no buttercream to scrape off. I've had to do that before. It's not a pretty sight. So once I finish the sides, I add it on the top and voila! Easy peasy. Not really, but that's okay. And look at that. I created the top of the lamp and is that cake? Nope, it's fondant. 
How much cake is in here? Probably only like 45%? What kind of a cake is that? Now as much as I complain about this, I love doing all the detail. Well, I like doing detail work in general. Even the bottom of the cake. It was so hard to wrap the bottom of the cake with fondant. But wrapping the rope around the bottom was very satisfying. I don't know for sure, but I suspect that when this lamp glows and the genie comes out, it's gonna glow blue. So I'm wrapping these strips of blue fondants at the sides of the cake and they actually hide my seam. Wow. Look at that. See? You can't see the seam. It just looks like one piece. I'm gonna protect these blue strips from my spray painting. So I'm adding saran wrap and I'm just gonna cut them the exact same shape as the strips. After I'm done spray painting this baby, I can just rip it off and it'll still be nice and blue. Look at this handle. And you can't tell because it looks like I'm doing it in one swoop, but I had three handles made. And guess how many of them broke? Two. That's right. This one worked, but there was a lot that I cried about. <laughs> After the handle, we got some more of these fondant ropes just to highlight the blue. And then I actually had to do a lot of detail work on the bottom. I was creating the pattern on the bottom of the lamp. Did I do a good job? No. <laughs> I was so over this cake. The shape isn't even the exact same. That's what made me mad. It was really hard to pipe all of this design underneath the cake. But after I did it, we got to my favorite part, which is spray paint in this. Now usually, um, I would just brush like gold luster dust, but I wanted this to have like a very smooth coat. So instead, I'm using some Walton's Edible Color Mist. The undertone of this cake is created with black color mist. After I sprayed down the whole thing, I layered some gold color mist on top. And I love this because it's not as shiny as a gold luster dust, which makes it look more like it was sitting in a cave for like a billion years before Aladdin found it. Now I realized after I sprayed it with the first coat that I forgot most of the detail or all of the detail on the handles. So I had to go back and add that with some rope and some icing. And then it was back to spray painting. Now I wanted to add a little bit of depth to this spray paint, so I'm actually brushing on some dry gold and bronze luster dust, just to give it some highlights. And then, look at this, this is probably one of the most satisfying parts of the cake. Pulling off that saran wrap, oh look at that, clean, 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 clean. Not perfect, but there's not a lot that I have to clean up. Now I tried to mimic the design on the side of the lamp as much as possible. I wanted to make sure that it looked the way that it did on the lamp. Even though the shape of my lamp is very different than this. My, my spout doesn't go as high. But that's okay. It's fine. I made my piece with it. It's fine. This detail actually really made up for it though because it looks bomb. Now the last thing I had to do was paint the detail that I just piped out with some luster dust. And I actually spray painted a little bit of mist into a bowl. So I spray painted a little bit of black, a little bit of that gold color mist, and then a little bit of dry powder. Just so it would match the colors that I spray painted onto the cake. Voila! My Aladdin magical lamp was complete. It looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't it look spectacular? Oh, look at all of that detail and the blue that highlights the detail. Bomb! I'm so torn because the process of making this cake, it was trashed. But the end result looks fantastic. You know, the shape is a lot closer to the original lamp, which was not my intention. <laughs> But again, I made my peace with it. But I am still happy with what I created. But I'm curious, what do you think? Do you like it? Did you like the process of this? And if you are a cake decorator, how would you have changed it? The way I would have changed it would have... I wouldn't have done it. Now let me know if you have seen Aladdin already, what do you think? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!